Hey, it's Greg from His Dolls, and it's time to get into the spirit of Halloween. Oh, that's the most heavenly sound. <laughs> it makes life worth living. Okay, so we are in the month of October, and I decided I wanted to do something a little special for the month of October. I really enjoy getting into holiday seasons and things like that. So I decided for this month, I'm going to be making about two, at least one, but maybe two uploads a week. Um, and one will kind of be like my regular content, just regular doll reviews and stuff. And then I want to do one that's kind of like Halloween themed, kind of spooky vibes. Um, and I just want to like, I mean, the main reason is because I have a lot of dolls that are not like Halloween themed that I've unboxed and reviewed and I need to get those videos out and ready. Um, for example, some Royal 3 dolls, some Rainbow Vision stuff. But then I also have some Halloween stuff that I've been wanting to do and I've been waiting for October to like film it. And it's now October, but I don't want like the other videos to fall behind, but I definitely want to do these now. So possibly two uploads a week, but I do have for every week already planned out a kind of Halloween themed video. And this is the first one. Um, so for starters, these videos are going to be kind of different. It's not specifically Rainbow High or anything like that. Some are doll reviews, some are kind of a mashup of something. But anyway, I want to keep at least one in the festival spirit. So the first one, in case you didn't notice, I am dressed uh, kind of, you know, Harry Pottery. So an interesting fact about me is me and my husband are actually really into Harry Potter and we love to decorate. Like our home is always, we kind of have a theme going. Um, but so for Halloween, we get our whole living room area space, kind of like in a Harry Potter theme. Um, Harry Potter is something my brother was obsessed with it growing up and I was kind of like against it because of that um, It was just like I don't know the thing to be like, oh, that's not me. That's his thing, you know um, You know how siblings are if you have one and Then um, as we got older me and my husband when we first started dating uh, For some reason we decided to watch Harry Potter one night and we ended up like watching the whole franchise together And I ended up finding love for it. He ended up loving it we went to uh, Universal Studios Harry Potter World together, which was incredible. And it's now just become like uh, one of the things like we rewatch it every uh, October, like the whole series and everything. And also, I don't know, like the decorations, everything, it's just become a thing for us. And this here is my Gryffindor robe. Um, I am Gryffindor based off of all the quizzes and stuff that I did. I've seen on Instagram where people have found uh, these like Harry Potter dolls. And well, let's just go ahead and show. Um, I have here the Harry Potter Quidditch doll, which I'm going to be unboxing. I don't know if it counts as doll or action figure or just thing. Anyway, I'm going to be unboxing this, but I'm not displaying this Harry Potter doll because like, I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of like the actual Harry Potter doll himself, but I've seen on Instagram where people have used, uh, this brand of Harry Potter and then they take the clothes and they use it on other dolls. And so I have here my little Cheryl Myers. So she is one of my favorite dolls I own. I am love, love, love Cheryl Myers. I have the one without the lip liner variant. Um, I absolutely love her. And honestly, me, um, she's usually on display in the living room. Uh, me and my husband had a travel theme during like the summer. 
he's a big traveler. And we had her with her own little suitcase and everything. And she had a little passport and all that. And she used to sit out there on display. So obviously this look doesn't really go with Harry Potter, but if she had some Harry Potter pieces from good old Harry over here, then she'd be perfectly on theme and ready for display. So this is gonna be kind of like a Harry Potter Rainbow High mashup. I have not used any of these before, so I don't know how well they're gonna fit. We're gonna find out together. I'm hoping it works well because I bought this a while ago and there's no returning it. <laughs> so if not, I'll just display him like this. But yes, I'm very excited to see Harry Potter on, oh, let me not get that near the candle, on Cheryl Myers. So let's go ahead and get straight to it. All right, so we're gonna first start off by looking at this Harry Potter figure. So first off, he's just in like a blister package. Um, nothing too fancy. Again, this is my first Harry Potter figure. Um, I actually have bought my brother, uh, the Professor McGonagall from this same uh, kind of series. And he keeps her on display. As I said, he's a huge Harry Potter fan, always has been. So I got him one for Halloween one year. Um, but this will be my first piece I own. Back here we have Draco and Harry. They're in their Quidditch outfits. And they had the regular ones, but I really thought the Quidditch robe looked nice. So that's the reason I got this one. It has a bunch of writing writing about uh, the rivalry between Draco and Harry. Right here in English, it says, the fierce rivalry between Harry Potter and Draco Malfoy is further intensified when they face off as seekers for the Gryffindor and Slytherin Quidditch teams. Both are eager to be victorious as their teams compete for the highly sought after Quidditch Cup. So, and then it's here in a bunch of other languages. And in here we see Harry. Um, I don't really think he looks great. <laughs> he looks kind of creepy, honestly. Well, not creepy, but I don't know how... I mean, I guess it kind of looks like him. I don't know. I'm not a big... Like, Harry is not my favorite character in Harry Potter. But what I really like is his clothing. It looks like a really nice material. This robe looks really nice. It has a gold lining on the inside. He has a sweater, then some, like, corduroy pants. Some boots. Then he has these arm guards. And he has... Uh, the broom and he also has the snitch over here the golden snitch so it looks really nice and typically i would jump to like a uh, unboxing but honestly i think i can just pop them out of this down here i can see where the plastic separates so i'm just gonna <laughs> and there we go so easy off like i said just the easy blister pack so super easy to get that part off um now, I did bring a pair of scissors. Here we go. So I did bring a pair of scissors and I'm just gonna like cut all the bands here. So we have a band here, which frees his feet. Then we have a band in the midsection. Let me, I don't want to, I wanna show you guys, but I also don't wanna cut any of the material. So he has a band there that I'm just gonna cut. And is that all that's keeping him in? Okay. No, there's also some bands holding his uh, broom in. Oh, also I found these, uh, this Harry Potter figure on eBay and I paid like, uh, I think it was like $30 for it, including shipping, which wasn't bad. Um, I don't see these in stores anymore, at least not in my stores. I think they were sold a couple years ago, but you can find a bunch of different ones online. Okay, I got them out. And this is all he comes with. He doesn't come with a stand or anything like that, like a Rainbow High Doll does. Oh, he's got a bunch of tags in him, like a Rainbow High Doll. So I'm gonna like cut these off where it's holding his robe together. These little plastic ties, kajinkers, whatever you wanna call them. So now I'm going to go ahead and take off the broom off of that. And let's give Harry a nice little look. So this is Harry. Um, the whole cloak is not lined, which is a little unfortunate, but also, I feel like all that's going to be displayed is this part. So I do really like the gold lining here. Um, if you were interested in the actual Harry figure, he has uh, articulation at the knee, not at the foot. And the leg does swivel out a bit, but not a lot. Um, no waist articulation. Then he has it at the shoulder, the elbow. And he does have it at the wrist. Um, I can see the, art, uh, the joint. And I'll show that when I take off the pieces. And then his head, he has the 360 movement in the head. Um, so it's pretty decent uh, articulation. I'd say it's pretty similar to uh, Rainbow High articulation. 
uh, yeah, I think that's kind of it for the hairy figure. Oh, no, no, wait. Let's look. Uh, the sweater material, it's not lined on the inside, so it's kind of cheap and thin material, but it's kind of what I expected. And let me see if I can take off his cloak pretty easy. Okay, so his cloak came off pretty easy. Also, he does have this printed on Gryffindor patch, which same one as I have here. Well, is it the same one? Yeah, it's the exact same thing. It's just, you can't see the black border. I do have it on here, but same. Um, let's see. Then we have Harry. He looks kind of odd without his cloak. Uh, he has the corduroy pants, the Velcro in the back, right there. Then this, uh, it's more of a t-shirt. I thought it was more of a sweater, but the t-shirt, it Velcros in the back. Then he has these uh, plastic arm guards and foot brace. Then he also comes with this really nice broom, the Nimbus 3000, right? Oh yeah, it actually has it right here. Nimbus 2000, my bad. You can see it. Uh, I don't know how well it's gonna show up on camera, but it's sculpted in there, Nimbus 2000. Um, he has his foot like stirrups. Here. It's pretty nice. Um, it's very light and this part's hollow. So it's not like incredible, but it is really nice. I don't think I'd need it to be more than that. And then here we have, I have to get all the rubber bands off of it. We have the golden snitch, which is really cute. Really nice. And I think what's really cool is that the, the scale of these items are also pretty good for like rainbow high scale. So I think that's all of that. Let's see. Um, he does have tape around his head and I'm guessing it's, yes it is, okay. So he, you can take his glasses off. There's no like frame in it, it's hollow. Like your finger could go through it if you had that small of a finger. But they're nice and there's rubber bands holding it in. And it kind of like plugs into his ears. So, well his hair. So he has a scar up there too. So you kind of just like smash it into like these little grooves they have in his hair. But it does stay on its own. He has his scar. He has blue eyes. Uh, kind of smirkish grin. Let's go ahead and take off these uh, arm guards. Okay, so now you can see that he also has wrist articulation. And the fingers are kind of like uh, gummy, like they move pretty well. So, and these are his arm guards. They have, ooh, they look to be leather. Um, it's made of plastic, of course, but like it has like a leather look to it with all the texturing in it. It's pretty nice. Um, no painted details on it. It's just solid uh, brown plastic and it's the exact same on the other arm guard. And, okay. I'm looking to see if he ha actually does have articulation in the chest that I missed. Okay, yeah, so no chest articulation. Um, so now I'm going to cut off the camera and I'm gonna start trying on these pieces onto our Sharon Miles over here and see if I can get her enrolled at Hogwarts. Okay, I'm back and I am just like exhausted. Like everything that happened since I stopped filming like uh, to actually dress the doll has been insane. Dressing the doll is pretty easy. Um, but like then her hair came undone, I had to restyle her hair, and then the band broke, the rubber band, and then like I kicked my leg and like half the filming equipment just fell all over the place. It's been a mess, but we made it through and I'm really happy with the end results. So the first thing I did want to show was this is Harry uh, after he's been declothed, and he has really skinny tiny feet, which I thought was interesting, but now you can see his articulation better. Um, also, he's very light and very, I don't want to say cheap feeling, but kind of cheap feeling, like super, super light. Um, he doesn't have any like weight to him, but this is the nude Harry doll. Um, but again, this is fine. I only have this for what he came with. Uh, also before, also before I show the dolls, the pants, the corduroy pants, which ended up being kind of like three quarter or like what capris. Uh, they did not fit her, which I expected because her, uh, rainbow high waist are much wider than this will get. And the shoes didn't fit, which I also knew would happen because these are flat foot. But I didn't want those items to fit, so that's fine, but I did want to clarify, like, they didn't. But, 
everything else fit, including the arm guards, which I was very surprised about. And here is Cheryl dressed in the Quidditch uniform. So I left her socks and shoes on and her like little dress as a, which came out as an underskirt. I do wish it was more of a gold color. I think that would have like been even better. But I think she looks absolutely amazing. Also, here's the redone hair. I decided to do like little braids this time. But anyway, I think she looks absolutely incredible. Like it's so good. The length is perfect as it would be. She's the same height as the Harry doll basically. But like the length is perfect. It fits up here perfect. The shirt here fits nice um, underneath. Like, and then the arm guards fit, which I did not expect. Like the arm guards actually fit on her. Um, I will say it covers up her elbow joint. So she can't really like move her. She can move up and down, of course. But like, if you wanted like the inward motion, it's kind of, it's much more difficult. So it definitely does limit her uh, posability if you want those on. I don't think they're necessary, but I thought it looked really nice. I'm gonna put her on her stand so I can actually show her a bit better. Okay, so here she is on her stand. Like, I absolutely love this. I think she looks amazing. It came out even better than I was hoping. So now we have our little quitted Cheryl. She's got her badge. I will say that I think this hangs a little lower on the body instead of being like up in the chest area, like it should be because of the way their bodies are proportioned, their chest area is so small. This is a little low, but I don't mind because this is at the perfect spot and I still think it looks nice. But I guess that's the one uh, downside. But I think she looks so good with this. Now I'm going to try and display her on the broom and holding the snitch. This is gonna take some rubber bands. I don't know how this is gonna go, but we're gonna try real quick. Okay, I finished and honestly, it came out better than I expected. I am getting, well, that's unfortunate. Okay, so here we go. We have Cheryl on the broom. I have her heels stuck in the little stirrups. I have her hand rubber banded to the broom. Then the snitch rubber banded, rubber banded in her hand. I think she is so cute. It looks so nice. It actually came out better than I expected. Like basically everything but the pants and shoes fit really well. And I think she looks incredible. It is so cute. I don't know how I'm gonna display her. Like um, I have to figure that out. I'm not quite sure. I kind of want to keep her in display in here for like the, uh, for our October. Just have her sitting over here for like all the little Halloween videos. But we'll see how it goes. Um, but anyways, I'm very excited, very proud of my work, and, well, I'm very excited. I think she looks really nice, and she definitely looks like she's in Hogwarts. Maybe just a little, uh, uh, you know, Rainbow Hide version. I don't think many of them are performing in heels, knee-high socks, and a skirt, but, like, I feel like Cheryl would, you know? Uh, let me know in the comments down below, like, what you guys think of this. Also, I kind of want, maybe in a, another year, not this year for sure, but maybe next year or something, get some more of these Harry Potter figures and put more Rainbow High Dolls in them. Like, I definitely want to do a Slytherin one since uh, my husband's Slytherin and, like, we have Gryffindor representation. I'd love to do a Slytherin one. But let me know down in the comments below, like, who you think would be from each house. Like, do you think Cheryl's a good fit for Gryffindor? Or do you think there is a better one that could have been a uh, Gryffindor representation? I think she's perfect. I'm not changing it. But uh, <laughs> let me know what you guys think like what house like you think should represent each of what rainbow high character you think should represent each house like i think for slytherin honestly i think i do jewel richie right here i think she'd be great for it so that's about it for this video don't forget to like comment subscribe let me know down below what you think of this video and i hope you guys are excited for some more halloween themed content uh for this month i'm very excited to share with you guys and don't forget if you want to see like more pictures and more um, things involving like my dolls and my collection, you can go down to uh, my Instagram, which is linked down below. It's his.dolls on Instagram. And you can see a lot more content with my collection. And I think that's going to be it for this one. I hope you guys are enjoying the spooky season and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Actually, quick little update. I know I've already done my outro, but like, look at her on this stand. Like, tell me that's not incredible. Like. I, this is amazing. I'm in love with it. I'm obsessed. Okay, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.